Excited? Yeah. We're back. We're back again. Forrest made a new video. And like the true fans. Yeah, we are true fans this time. As you can see, I actually watched the other video. Oh, you did? I yeah, see, yeah. I did. So what was it about? I know you just like, well, uh, that's, that's not what this video is <laughs> You don't even know what it's about. No, I know what it's How about. Even it? <laughs> I hate the fact that he's using AI images. Yeah, you noticed that as well. Well, ever since six months ago, he started to use AI art in his thumbnails. <laughs> I think the banner predates that. Anyway, why I believe Stella Sea Cow is still alive. It's like a, it looks like a dugong or a manatee, which again is AI art, but hey ho. There's something funny about someone who's speculating on extinct species and sort of cryptids now at this point, technically. And it's like, well, I'm using AI art in my thumbnails. You could fake anything at this point. At the end of the video, I want to believe in Stella Sea Cow as being still alive as well. Do you excited? I'm just going to be bad cop and say no. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to go against everything that like what's going to happen today. So if you're a good cop, I'm going to be bad cop here. I'm going to be like, no, that f sucks. Look at that AI art. What's going on here? This That's actually a really horrible. good idea. Okay, I, I believe everything he says. And then you, you don't. And then we'll see who wins, okay? Imagine a third. Okay, so already now he's, t he's telling me to imagine something, which makes me think that it's imagined. <laughs> yeah, already. Imagine. Oh, so it's, it's not real then. <laughs> 30 foot giant yet gentle creature cruising the icy waters of the Bering Sea. But there's a catch. It's been extinct for over 250 years, or so we think. But on a tiny well, there remote it is. island. <laughs> he literally just told me that it wasn't there anymore. <laughs> Argument over. I win. Where's my prize? <laughs> No, 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 no. He's telling you what they want you to believe. It's it's on a small eye. Did you not hear what he just said? But what if? <laughs> what oh, no, if? no I've, I've done myself wrong. <laughs> no, no, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's see what, what he said. Hear what he said. Hear what he said. Yours, or so we think. But on Yours. a tiny hey, remote oh, island chain called the command. So he said, or oh, so we think. So we think, right? That's a belief okay, so, that can be changed. So the Indiana Jones font island believes that there is still manatees out there. How did you pick up that was Indiana Jones? You're so right, though. With just over 600 people, a strange belief persists. Most of them believe they've... He's not, he's not selling it, he is he? <laughs> <laughs> He's not selling it already. He's like a strange belief. Yeah, he's a persists. strange belief. Hey, you're you're a good cop. You're a good cop. You need to. I know I'm trying, but he's not giving me anything yet. Forrest, please, please give me something. <laughs> believe they've seen it. Okay, there we go. Most of them believe they've seen it. Let's carry on. This amazing creature is one of the original animals. It's beautiful. I already have a theory that they might have seen like the what are they called the narwhals. No, th if they saw an owl, they would know. They would know because it has big horn. Big horn. Not all of them. They could be a female. Who knows? Damn it. Female narwhals don't have hordes. Bollocks. No, 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 no. It says 13 foot. We're talking about something that's 30 foot. Are you telling me that the people on Commander Island don't know sizes, excited? Yeah. Okay, cool. Right, let's, let's go. All the men are happy there. <laughs> all the men are happy there. The no, it's no oh oh the AI art. Whoa! <laughs> okay, I did not expect to see AI art already. Well, is that a uh, is that a tiny manatee under you, or are you just happy to see me? <laughs> yeah. Wait, what is that? <laughs> Come on, Forrest, don't use AI art. We got this. We have this in the bag. Stellar sea cow. And in this video, we're going to break down why I think it could still be out there. But first. Let's oh, wow. Ooh. Okay, I can, I can see why we're not using this image. <laughs> Grandpa, what are you doing there? <laughs> oh. Is that how it looked like? First encountered by George Steller when the crew became shipwrecked on Bering Island in 1741. He and his men were marooned there and had nothing to eat until a massive sea cow floating along the surface came by and provided nourishment for weeks. I love how he didn't say they killed it. It's like, oh, he was just there and it provided them with yeah. all No, no, they killed it. <laughs> Stellar sea cow was restricted to the shallow seas around the Commander Islands. Fossils found in Monterey Bay, California 
and Honshu, Japan, which were dated to the late Pleistocene, suggest the stellar sea cow once had a much more extensive range than we previously thought. It used to live so widespread, and as time went on, it just, it like its habitat got smaller and smaller and smaller. And more sailors were really hungry. Its buoyancy wouldn't allow it to ever be totally submerged. Okay. Right. So, okay, so what did they eat? Well, yeah, what well, one looks quite submerged here. A little bit, doesn't it? Yeah. Hey! Hey! That's not allowed! Unlike its dugong and manatee cousins, the stellar sea cow actually had no teeth. Yeah, that's right. It was that old, all its teeth fell out. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it looks like a Muppet. <laughs> <laughs> it does, doesn't it? Yeah. He's got, he's got to have some sort of photo evidence or something like the Tasmanian tiger to show why he thinks this is live, right? He's just going over the history and what this is first, then we'll get into the good stuff. It's heart alone weighed 35 pounds. Oh yeah, we've got to, we've got to mark the anus. Oh. Wait, its liver was at the side of it? Like it had two livers? Yeah, that looks like those should be the lungs, not the liver. That's, that's weird. And it had a digestive tract that was 500 feet in length, more than 20 times the animal's length, which is absolutely nuts. And it shows you with this really long digestive tract just how hard it was for Stellar Sea Cow to break down all of the marine organic material like kelp that it would have had to. That's what happens when you don't have teeth. You need a you know, five mile <laughs> digestive tract. <laughs> Sadly, only 27 years after humans discovered the animal, it was ruled extinct in 1768. Damn, humanity really speed running that animal. The, the, the reason probably why it went extinct so quickly was because it, it probably took maybe like five years to have a baby, probably. Like it had such a slow, like reproductive life oh, cycle. No. That must mean that, yeah, they were just so slow to reproduce and we just ate them that quick. People of the Commander Islands killed seven sea cows for every one they could eat, quickly dropping their numbers. Wait, what? What was he saying? Why they, they, they were killing for they sport. Killed seven. One, oh, they come on, eat. that's barely even sporty. You know, it's like, oh, that thing over there, they can't run away, it can't swim, and it can barely breathe. And, and they're like, no, 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 we didn't kill them. They're, st they're, they're still out there. We didn't do that. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. I saw one yesterday, actually. <laughs> um, so yeah, like we didn't, we did not kill them all. I promise. George Steller himself, the famous expeditioner, described it as being quote tasty, with the meat having a similar taste to corned beef. No way, it was legit killed because it was so tasty. Then <laughs> oh, my no. it was so freaking tasty. You had to go on a rampage and kill seven of them instead of one. Jesus. It was also reported to be slow to spoil, which was attributed to the amount of salt in its diet effectively curing the meat. It was just floating jerky. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It pretty much <laughs> was. It was like, it's basically already preserved. We just need to kill it. In addition, they would also kill all of the otters in the area who feasted. Yeah, man. Fuck the otters. They were just on a murder spree. They, they did not have any good reason. They were just like, they, no they see intentions. something, they kill it. These people, oh my God. And they killed the otters because they ate the meat as well. There's a guy at the back with a bow and arrow probably shooting another sea cow. And The big rock behind him is actually a sea cow. That's like, oh! <laughs> <And> <laughs> yeah, I see it, I see it, I see the mouth. Oh, no! <laughs> Look how the guy killing the otters like, oh, I don't want to do this. And the other's like, <laughs> just an average day on Colon Island. Feasted primarily on sea urchin, which in turn ate all of the kelp that the sea cows needed for survival. So with these two factors, it really led to a rapid extinction of this giant, floating, incredible sea creature. Now, onto the exciting stuff. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Okay, Excited. this is the actual video. This is the Let's video. Go. Five minutes in to the video, we have the video. This is where I'm going to be able to prove you wrong, Excited, and prove okay. that they exist. Okay? You prove they exist, and I prove that like, I don't have to prove it. Yeah, you, you really don't have to do anything, do you? He's basically just giving no. it all in the first five yeah. minutes. <laughs>
these creatures can submerge, yeah. but they're like, they're definitely like not hiding anywhere. They've been extinct for so long. They're 30 foot long, they can't submerge, and no one's seen them in 200 years. Bernard Huvelamans was a Belgian French zoologist <laughs> and one of the first to recognize that the stellar sea cow may still actually exist. He was the first crazy person. He went, no, it's alive. <laughs> I've seen it! It is my white whale! <laughs> exactly. It just takes one one person to go, no, they exist. And then boom! Next thing you know, you've got a video oh. saying why I believe Stella Sea Cows is still alive. I, I've dreamed about having that meat that was so delicious. It makes you go on a murderous ah. rampage. Like the reason why you hate McDonald's but you always come back for more is because they actually <laughs> They stole all of them, and now they have like an underground facility where they just farm these giant manatees. Oh my god, they've been saying that burgers are made of cow. They didn't say what type of cow. Or that the sea cows survived and were even hunted into the 1800s. A 1963 article by the USSR Academy of Sciences reported a possible sighting of large marine mammals following a 1962 whaling ship of six, six to eight meter long animals with trunks oh and split lips me. raising in the shallow Nobody waters drew. near Kamchatka's- Kill me! <laughs> <laughs> the like, family is dead. They're like, end it, you forgot about me. My metabolism is so slow, I'm starving to death for eons. <laughs> yeah, exactly, yeah. <laughs> I just love that it's like a possible sighting of a large marine mammals following a whaling ship. So were they whales then, were they? Maybe they were smart whales and they were like, guys, they're never going to be able to turn around and get us. Follow them. <laughs> the harpoons are up front, guys. We just have to stay in the back. They were just really smart whales. Similar sightings have more recently been reported by fishermen in the Kuril Islands, in Kamchatka, and in the Chuchki Peninsulas, which Chuchki. one of the reasons Chuchki. I find this creature so incredibly fascinating is with such limited populations of people in such a crazy vast and wild area, could this big old beast still be floating around up there? It would be an amazing thing to try and find out. Going into detail about topics completely unrelated to the situation at hand essentially delays the onset of their new reality. Forensic psychology views this as a form of denial. I, I mean, I'm hoping there's more evidence than just like, oh, like a few guys in Russia reported seeing it and, and this <laughs> guy in the middle of the ocean. I hope he's got more. Please tell me he's got more. A misidentification of, say, a walrus or... No, you already said that it doesn't look anything like these things, okay? I mean, it kind of looks like it if it didn't have to tusk. Do female walruses have to... I'm learning so much today. I think they do. Do they? <laughs> Like, there's a female right there next to a male. Look at that guy. Look at that little cheeky chappy. Aww. Oh, this is cute. Aww. He's adorable. Anyway, back to the plot. Northern elephant seal, which would have been way outside of its range, by the way. I guess we'll never really know. However, pictures taken on the west coast of Greenland in 2014 show a large animal near the shore with a rounded back and head. That could be a rock. That... <laughs> That could literally just be a rock. Come on. <laughs> no, that no, could no, no. be on. anything. That, that no, could you're not telling me that this time. Forrest Galante, right? He's, or at least people in the comments have told me he's this like well-known biologist and he, you know, he's, he's being featured on Animal Planet and all that jazz. The live stuff, like the things that are live and he uses it as a reference, but this is absurd. He's not as enthusiastic about this blubber. No, his Tasmanian tiger is definitely his white whale, 100%. <laughs> he's he's saying, done this guy dirty. Works. Like that one. That could just be whales, that, for God's sake. It could literally be it's Loch Ness. <laughs> yeah, you could say it's Nessie, and people are like, whoa, yeah. But get this. Of these islands in the Bering Sea, yep. there's one island, the island nation of the commanders, which is so remote and so sparsely populated that right. of the 613 residents that actively live there today, uh -huh. it is said that most of them believe in the animal's ongoing existence, and there are even individuals who claim to have seen them in person as recently as last year. The reemergence of kelp forests like this is not necessarily a promising lead. There it is! There's the sea cow! You see it? Oh my god! There it is! See the picture! <laughs> Proof! We've got it! That's the sea cow! <laughs> Can't believe they didn't see it! 
Oh my God, they have footage of it. They didn't even know. But at least it's allowing it to have an abundant food source. So if one or two <laughs> had escaped the ridicule of man, it would- The ridicule of man? Call it names, bully it till it's dead. <laughs> would now at least have enough food to eat. A and by the way, places to hide in those kelp forests so that it could actually potentially survive if not under the ridicule. But he can't submerge himself. How is he gonna hide on top of the kelp? Oh, he's not making it easy for himself. He's like, okay, if there were them, they couldn't hide under the kelp. So why are you saying that they could hide under the kelp then? Turtle guy syndrome? Turtle guy syndrome, yeah. <laughs> Your story does not check up. God damn it, Forrest! Leading me he's on! He's been infected! No, oh, he's been infected by the turtle virus. But heck, it was only in 2019 that we found an entire walrus colony. Not an individual, oh an entire colony of these giant sea sausages that we didn't even know existed. It wasn't just a few animals. Scientists encountered 3,000 individuals. Right, I, I get what he's trying to say, right? He's trying to add credence yeah. to it, being like, oh, well, you know, we did just discover this whole walrus colony. The, the problem with this is that they migrate, they go places, they have things to do and people to see. Walruses that you've seen before, like just because they're here now doesn't mean that they weren't somewhere else before. And, and these other animals, like they, they have not been recorded at all. Yeah. And he was also saying that like the sea cow used to live certain areas. And as time went on, it got smaller and smaller to the point where there's only a couple of places you can go to see them. And if they're not there, they're not there. They're not like off in Hawaii on, on a vacation. Imagine being on that research vessel and saying to your colleagues, Look at this giant pink beach of potato animals. I mean, just think about it. You think we know all there is to know about the ocean. The reality is we simply don't. The ocean is so vast that there are some areas that remain completely unexplored. It shows all animals known to man in one clip. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It shows everything <laughs> we've already discovered. <laughs> this is the kind of thinking that leads people to believe the Megalodon still exists. That's the problem. <laughs> no, no, no. This is this is way too deep water for the potato manatee. Yeah, exactly. The manatee thingy. can't be down they can't here. Submerge. Remote, cold areas with limited populations where the only people that are on the sea day in and day out all say that they think they could have seen a stellar sea cow. Well, that is, in my opinion, while being a very small likelihood, still a very compelling and exciting piece of information that deserves at the- You're telling me that tiny skeleton is inside that big animal? Yeah, yeah, that's how it works. It's like the <laughs> Godzilla toy that you like rip the outer skin off. Exciting piece of information that deserves at the very least somebody to go out there and give a really good effort to look for. Stop wanting to waste people's time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's got to be enough resources and money and oh. effort. Like, I want you to go out there and look for this thing that is not there. I, th I think what he's meaning is like, it's it's reason for him to go out there and look for it. He can go look for pixies or whatever he wants to go look for. Like, I don't... <laughs> you, you don't realize this excited. It might be real. Like, look, okay, unicorns, unicorns never really existed. We can agree on this unless Forrest makes a video saying that they used to, but these things did exist, okay? Well, I'm not sure when I'll be heading to the Bering Sea to go. He's gonna go. Oh. He's gonna go. He's going. He's going. Yeah. Don't come back unless you find one! Forrest, do you truly believe this? You stand by a statement, you won't come back till you found one. <laughs> He's gonna go mad on sea. <laughs> yeah, he just goes mad. I've seen them. I've seen thousands of them. I do know that this summer, one lucky subscriber gets to come on an adventure with me to Illinois to bowfish for invasive flying carp. Oh, for a second there. For a second there, I thought he was gonna be like, one lucky subscriber is gonna be sent out into the Arctic. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna send you out of the, like looking for the sea cow. <laughs> like everyone starts unsubscribing. Like please, please don't send me. <laughs> <laughs> please don't send me away. I don't wanna. Oh my! It's God. literally a waste of oxygen. It's literally a waste of oxygen. Diving in the water to find. Why are you even diving? They can't submerge. <laughs> yeah, you're right. What's they can't the point? Even submerge. <laughs> If he discovers them, we could all have a chance 
at that amazing tasting burger. All you have to do is like, subscribe, and comment, and we'll be picking somebody to win an all expense. You know what this reminds me of? It reminds me of all those YouTube channels that used to be like, like, comment, subscribe, and you'll get like gift vouchers. And how, how realistic would that be? Like, if his audience, let's say, 50% are kids, I don't know exactly know the analytics, but there's got to be some sort of vetting. You also have to be my friend, Jeff. Jeff, could you subscribe and like and comment on the video so I can pick you? I feel like if, if he really genuinely thought that there was a chance that this thing's out there, he would have already been out there. He would have already tried to discover it. How cool would that be? Like, if this video started with him, sat behind a desk, and ended with him, like, pointing at it, like, in the wall, like, there he is. That's him. <laughs> All right, we're it's done. Been here all the we're time. done here. <laughs> okay, okay. One thing we didn't do in our last video is actually read the comments. This is incredible, Forrest. When exactly will you go explore the scene there? <laughs> this guy's like threatening him. Like, go on, man. Go on. You didn't tell me if you believe it now. Like, you were the you were the voucher for him. I am. I, I want to see him out there. I want to see him discover it. There were some whaling sightings recently. Very exciting. I don't. I don't even know what that's. That that they're not whales though. Do a video on the Megalodon, I guarantee people will want to click on that. I'm sorry. <laughs> the moment this guy makes a video on the Megalodon, we know we know we can't trust him at all. Since when did this turn into a cryptozoology <laughs> fake news clickbait channel? I want to ask you one question. Do you believe that the Stella Sea Cow is out there? Actually, after looking at all the evidence and discussing it with you, I think this was a total waste of time. And if you ever make me do this again, I better get paid for it. 